The Death Tour is the hardest tour there is in sports. If you want to be a wrestler, the Death Tour is a definite way to prove to yourself and to others that you have what it takes. The problem is, to get there, it's not easy. The, uh, Demi blocking the road. He said he'd be in there at 2 o'clock this morning. When wrestling does arrive to these very remote, isolated indigenous communities, it's like WrestleMania, you know, in the reservation. You got to perform every night. After three weeks of it, a couple of them, <laughs> all of them, will crack. Y'all ready? And we are off. No alcohol, no drugs. Do not break those rules. You're probably not going to have cell service up there. So how will you keep in touch? Smoke signals. <laughs> <laughs> But way up north where it's really remote, people feel hopeless. Sometimes you can kind of feel that dark energy in the communities. Tony Candelo, who's been running these tours, he says this is the most deaths he's had on any tour. So all we can do is give him the best show we possibly can. Wrestling has always been a source of healing and like light in my life. Fire him up tonight, let's go! But every time we get in the ring, we get that crowd to react. That's what I live for. If anybody that comes to this trip here, they can wrestle anywhere in the world.